Here comes the Queen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. The Irish last kicker. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Go ahead, Byron. Get head over heels. Tell us all why Becky Lynch is so great. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horns out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. And her opponent, first, Nikki Bella, Brie Bella, and Alicia Fox. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. We're about to see how Nikki's able to coexist with her tag team partners in this Six Divas tag team match. This is definitely Yikes. going to be interesting. Good luck to the referee, guys. When you put six competitors such as this in one match, things are bound to break down in a hurry. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big backdrop. Oh, 
man by the hair. Air whip. Oh. Here we go. Inverted DDT. Charlotte not in a good place right now. Nothing she can't fire back from, though. This is bad, guys. This match has been trending in the wrong direction for her almost from the opening bell. Oh, man. Oh, this is not good at all. The There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk. She's looking at it. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all she somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Setting up. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now, Cole. And look at hung up on the second. You gotta believe this one's over. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and Ouch. cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Alicia Fox not looking so hot here. And the confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. Well, it would be crazy to expect her to go through this entire match without taking on some punishment. I mean, she's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Nailed it. Tag made. I don't think this is going to be good at all. Well, this is going to be dangerous. Really targeting the back on that one. Oh, and she gets out of the way. Look at her go. Snap suplex. Very nice. Alicia Fox has eyes to finish. Harsh impact. But is it enough to end it? Ooh, what impact. Tag made. Uppercut. Yeah, oh, oh, incredible. The shoulders are down. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh! He turns it around on her. Oh. 
Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Beautiful technique. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction, with three superstars of the line being of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability. Nikki, oh, good, and she bounces her face off her knee. And now Nikki is ready. Prop victory is on the horizon. Shoulders on the back. You're not going to get her that easy. going to take more than that. Natalia's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brett. Hitman Hart is perfectly executed and can snap an opponent's back like a twig. Tag. Uh-oh. This could be bad news. Double team attacking the back. Oh, she goes for the cover. Ooh. Natalia certainly learned this business from some of the best. When the Queen of Hearts takes that first step and turns over her opponent, the Sharpshooter's locked in, which means it's all over for Natalia's adversary. The Sharpshooter is one of the most famous finishing maneuvers in sports entertainment. All it takes is seeing Natalia slap the submission on an opponent to see why. Natalia strikes with Natty by nature. That almost came out of nowhere. What a huge opening for Natalia. <laughs> she might have it. I think this is going to do it. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. She's able to get out of the way there. And what a reversal from Brie Bella. And it's Natalia with the reversal. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, Brie Bella to avoid damage. She is on fire. Oh, nasty impact. And it's Natalia with the reversal. And the slam. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Natalia strikes with Natty by nature. This one's over, guys. What's this from Natalia? Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and... Whoa, impressive! You can say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Nikki Bella with the tag. is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. When I think of memorable moments in Nikki Bella's career, I think of WrestleMania 33, when she and John Cena got a chance to take on The Miz and Maurice in a mixed tag team match long in the making. showing her the night mom and dad shared the ring in perfect harmony. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. 
There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grahams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. She's got the skill and the stamina to really do some damage here. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had Natalia just seconds away from a victory here. Jeez, and I don't like Nikki Bella's chances in this one. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. This one be it! Oh, my! Natalia says, not this time! Becky Lynch. Oh no, this isn't gonna end well. Oof. I'm not so sure Natalia should be strutting around like this. At least not yet. Something like that. Alicia Fox looking for something. Oh, nasty impact. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. In my opinion, Alicia Fox has got to get back into this. What are your thoughts? You've got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. At this point, you have to wonder if her partners are starting to regret teaming up with her. I'm just saying. Oh man, she's rolling now. The Bexploder. That's what makes her so dangerous. Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. What a stomp. Great. Natalia definitely has a few things to say about it. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat. Alicia Fox is in position. Nikki Bella is showing no respect. Does she ever? Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. have gotten worse for Becky Lynch. She could be out of this match. This could spell the beginning to the end for her here in the six-man tag team match. That's over at this point. Man, at this point, even the slightest mistake could cost one of these women the match. Alicia Fox got out of there in time. Incredible agility. Look at her go. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes right now. And Charlotte does what she does best. Nikki Bella is showing no respect. Does she ever? When she gets in attack mode, look out. Ah, drop kick. Right on the money. Bringing it back into the ring.
And now one more time. Oh. <laughs> That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. There it is. Exploder suplex. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finisher. Ooh, look at Nikki go. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Oh, what impact. Nope, reverses it. And she looked like she had no chance just a few moments ago. She's out. She escapes the hole. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. Exploder suplex. Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. Becky Lynch. Got the disarmor. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Look at that, she escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. Ooh. She dodges that one. Oh, the chicken wing applied. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. You gotta believe this one's over. No reverses it. And it's Nikki Bell showing some agility. We might be looking at a victory for Becky here. Jeez, and I don't like Nikki Bella's chances in this one. And this is all part of Charlotte's stretch. She works her way out of that one. She's still got a bit of an uphill climb here, though. And this is all part of Charlotte's strategy. The switch here to Charlotte. And this is all part of Charlotte's strategy. Brutal face buster. Harsh impact. Ooh. <laughs> Charlotte is really feeling the pain that's been dealt out so far. This six-man match may have taken it all out of her. I'm not used to seeing this. Charlotte needs to utilize some of that famous flair stamina to get back in this. I agree with you. Tag. Uh-oh. This could be bad news. Double tip not go with a back and body. And if she goes for the cover. Two and an air fall. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Charlotte sure dodged that one. She did indeed. And the DDT. We can't be stopped right now. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. We'll see how long she can keep it up. She's looking Charlotte with the spear. That's just Charlotte proving her dominance once again. Nailed it. This might be it. Oh, my. Charlotte with a nice reversal. by Brie Bella. Vertical 
Penny predicament. One, two. King it out of that man. Used up her last bit of energy. Uh-uh. Ooh, what impact. Bree Bella looking to end this. Oh, Bree Bella able to avoid damage. Oh, nasty impact. No, she gets out of it. But she's still struggling, Cole. The end might just be near for her. Oh, the yes lock is sixed in. Is he going to yes lock? She can pick up the win here, guys. And it's Nikki Bella showing some agility. What an amazing six-man tag match. Let's take another look at these women in action. She's taking care of business. Check this out. Oh, I can't believe this. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here are your winners, Nikki Bella, Brie Bella, and Alicia Fox. And that's a huge tap out victory there. There's few things more humiliating than tapping out to your opponent. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere.